Alright. And this one, of course, Dick, you're gonna be your firebender. But when he unlocks this ability, he's very early. In fact, when he does worry that he's not gonna have a quirk, he does test me. His little curiosity. Of course, first he tries to you know, try a small object towards himself and goes quirk. Doesn't work. But it's when he actually tries his dad's fire breathing quirk where he actually does notice a spark. He, of course, is beyond happy to see this. And he doesn't even have to go to the quirk doctor this time. So, he already knows he has a quirk. Uh, as far as what he thinks is one. So when he goes to tell his friends, especially Bakugo, yeah, they're all impressed. Especially Bakugo. You know he does feel like his explosion quirk is a bit better. So they actually do stay as somewhat rifles here. That is until later on, Izuku notices Bago's behavior is starting to change a little bit. Instead of being the whole, the second biggest all my fan in the group, he sees that, huh, he, he's actually more like a bully. And of course, Izuku, part of a hero and all of that, he does call him out on it. Where they all just brush it off like heck, he's just being a kid, of course. Until he just goes straight to beating up other kids. Izuku, of course, does not like this at all. So he has no choice but to actually fight against his old friends, especially Bakugo. Of course, Izuku want to be a law-abiding citizen doesn't use his quirk nearly as much as Bakugo would. But when it comes to the fire breathing. He's pretty damn proficient in it. Luckily, he has actually got more in tune to thinking, okay, fire quirk, that's great. In fact, he does actually call his dad and ask him how he deals with his quirk, like any setbacks or, you know, simple things. When he does learn it, Wait, your, your throat gets dry? Of course, Izuku doesn't have this problem. Like, oh, maybe my quirk is more advanced. But, this is when Izuku does want to test out more ways to utilize his fire breathing, at least in secret. So when he does in a fight Bakugo, he does unleash his fire breath. The only thing is, he knows his Bakugo is very cautious not to get too close to it. And this is when Deku does have a revelation about it, at least. When it comes to his and Bakugo's quirks being one hell of a volatile combination. He remembers Bakugo's quirk allows him to sweat substances like nitroglycerin, but also spark it using his hands. And the more Bakugo sweats, the more nitroglycerin he's surrounded by, at least what his body is covered in. He's not sparking it with his hands, but it's <laughs> who says the spark has to come from his hands? 
So, of course, Bongo wants to stay away from that fire breath. Izuku, using this to his advantage, trying to get Bongo to back down. Only problem is, Bongo is stubborn and is with his very abrasive attitude. He gets his other two friends, one with his stretchy fingers and wings, just getting up on Izuku and the other kid that you're bullying. This doesn't work so well. When it comes to Izuku still being able to breathe fire. But it's when he notices, oh wait, I don't want this kid to be hurt. So he's trying to control where he's spitting fire. To a point where, of course, Mr. Stretchy Fingers decides to take the kid hostage. Unfortunately, Izuku does already start spewing fire by this point. When he sees what he's about to do, he wishes, or at least wills it, to curve. Yeah, and he strikes stretchy fingers instead of the poor bullied kid. Hooray! And, of course, you can only imagine a shock in Bongo's face, as well as the face on, on his goons, that Izuku can and do more. That he's not just a fire breather. In fact, that he can control it. And, of course, Izuku... He wants to take advantage of this. Of course, he's never really tried it before until now. But, hmm, why not? See how far he can go with this. Which, luckily for him, he is a, he gets a lot of practice in, thanks to Bunko's stubbornness and the weak wills of his cronies. So, Bongo gets blown up by his own quirk, and yeah, the other two are just covered in soot while they're just walking home. Izuku is the hero for today. At least he would be, because you see, when he does be able to check on the kid again, he's scared. Of course, Izuku thinking how oh, he's just scared Bakugo and the other boys, but it's like, no, he's scared of Izuku. Because, <laughs> sadly, what Izuku forgot is fire is still fire. You know, you can control where it, it goes, the surrounding area is still somewhat affected. Luckily it ain't that strong, but it's at least strong enough to singe some hair a little too close for comfort. As you can imagine, Izuku is very sorry. One thing is, this kid, seeing how Izuku took on three people while defending him, air quotes, yeah, yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't want none of that. Even though, yes, he may be grateful for Izuku for helping him, that fire is pretty damn dangerous. So, of course, the kid does go home, and Inko does scold him for using his quirk like this. You know, yes, he did to protect someone. And, of course, Izuku doesn't sugarcoat what happened. He tells how he accidentally singed off some kids and head of hair. And you can imagine she may be proud, yet also 
disappointed. He tells him, yeah, you're gonna have to learn how to control that a bit better. Even though Hazashi in his calls, at least monthly calls, does say how proud of it of his son he is. Standing up for what's right. And go starting to be very upset that you cannot condone this kind of behavior. But all in all, yeah. You can say that uh, he's a good relationship with Bob Bill and the others are. It's not the same. Right. By the time the Amic does start, they're not friends. <clears throat> he's looking for staying up to him like that. Nah, no, no, no. No, Bob Bill's pride is hurt. He can't even do anything, really. Because, yeah, just like he can ignite his nitroglycerin sweat, so can Izuku. And now that he learned that he can control it to an extent. Oh, no, 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 thank you. This actually causes Bob go to like a better word brain a lot more than he would in canon yep he, he can't really use Deku as a punching bag or quirk practice too risky so he has to think you know not only how to make his quirk more powerful but also find a way to you know negate the whole yeah he can ignite my quirk on me and blow me up thing so while well, Izuku is trying to get better control over his fire bending Bakugo is trying to strengthen his quirk while also thinking more analytically how he can not only make it better but also, so Deku can eh, use it against him. So by the beginning of the actual anime, yeah, they're not friends. Bakugo's tone has changed. He has been using this quirk more often, and his bones are a lot stronger thanks to it. In fact, this is um. He is stronger than he is in canon, just not nearly as as uh, much as Izuku is now. Because since he does have a quirk, and he has been training, he's also wanting to see what else can he really do with it now that he can see that he can control it. Is it just his fire, or is it other fire sources but there is something he really wants to test can he control the level of heat can he make it hotter than normal fire what can he do to make it more efficient And this does get him to more, be more reckless. Though he doesn't use his quirk indoors, it does not make it any less deadly. While Bakugo trains his quirk to strengthen his bones, Izuku is building up his fire resistance which does cause him to have some burn scars. Nico, of course, being the most wonderful mom, he scolds him like nobody's business. 
tells him to stop this crap or else he's going to end up doing some real damage. He doesn't want to destroy his hero career before it even starts. Eh, he's a girl, of course, wants to listen to his mom, but he also sees, like, yeah, I, but I need to get stronger. So, best mom, what are you gonna do? She's gonna have no choice but to actually help him in this case. Though she doesn't want him getting hurt using his quirk, she knows that since he has a quirk, he's gonna want to test it. He's going to need to train. At least really he'll get more control over it, but still, I mean... So, she actually does get him a series of kiddie pools. Fills them with ice, water, hot water, all of this. Telling him, okay, try to admit heat and not just fire. What? Yeah, just try using heat instead of just fire. It's, it's, it's easy. I can do that. Of course. Why not? But if it's a fire-based work, I... It's heat. It's a burst of energy. All you have to do is concentrate. These ice cubes and this block of wood melt them but not with fire. Oh okay I don't see how that's gonna help. It's gonna help you learn control. See, when it comes to fire, it's expelling energy into space. While, you know, it's a, an exothermic reaction. It's a spilling the gas or whatever it is you're using to burn and turn to fire. But you should try dialing it back. Instead of using fire, just try using the heat. Let me see how that works. Huh. Okay. And that is pretty much Izuku's training. So, by the time the anime starts, no one mocks him for being worthless and wanting to go to UA. Hell, in fact, they're cheering him on. Falco being quiet until someone does a snide remark saying that Izuku is stronger than him causes, <laughs> causes him to have a little explosive reaction. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> so yeah, he tries to blow up Izuku. The only problem is when he tries to spark his quirk, he can't. His little sparks don't <clears throat> do a thing. Well, at least he can't light the nitroglycerin. Of course, he's wondering what the hell's going on. Why can't I use my quirk? So he looks at Izuku with a bored expression. Just has a, his cheek on his fist, just lying on the desk. <sighs> hmm. So, you done? You done with your little tantrum? Fuck a go. Wait, 
are you? Are you doing this? Yep. Turns out my quirk is a lot more versatile than I thought. It's not just fire breathing and controlling that fire. As he just summons a flame straight from his hand. While go seeing this, you gotta be kidding me. Nope. Oh, 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 that, oh, that is not fair. What's wrong, Bago? Seemed to, uh, seemed to lost some nerve. Are, are you okay? Seemed a little sweaty. I, I, I. As Bako does realize how much sweat he has accumulated, as he looks at <laughs> Deku, just put out the flame, but just have one little spark ready for Bakugo. Only thing is, Bakugo runs out of the classroom right before Izuku flicks it straight towards him. <sighs> Safe. Uh, wait. Then he looks right inside the classroom. This is, yeah, he's like, he's gone. He's wondering, wait, how did he get here so? He looks up and sees that Izuku has melted part of the wall. And now he's generating a lot of heat from his body, causing Bako to sweat even more. And of course, Bako realizes the shit's going he's in now. As he jumps out of the classroom. From the window and lands, thankfully, he's being able to use his quirk. Sadly, since he has sweated so much, he does overdo it. Everyone thinks he's a good kind of way a little bit more, but he's also like, anyway. Yeah. He shouldn't have been talking all that shit. And of course, yes, he's a good confidence. Is a lot higher. Though he does still feel like Bakugo could be a great hero. He knows Bakugo needs his attitude adjusted just a smidge. And he really needs to be brought down the pig or two. Because he remembers when Bakugo first got his quirk. Of course, he got. God knows how much praise because of it. Even Deku praised his quirk, thinking it was awesome. Which, yes, it was. But, yeah, pride comes before the fall. Zuku wants to be a great hero, along with Bakugo. Only thing is, if Bakugo doesn't get off his high horse, and remember that he is not the top dog. And there's always going to be someone stronger. And in this case, it's Yuzuku. Hmm. He's either not going to get himself or God knows how many people injured and or worse. So, on his way back home from school. Yeah, he still has his notebook. It's still in perfect condition. Thing is, when he does encounter some large villain, all he does is emit so much heat that the sludge villain starts to harden and crystallize. So when, when All Might does show up, yeah, sludge villain can't even move. All Might doesn't even need to contain him, all he has to do is just pick up the statue 
that was uh, known as a sludge villain. Ziku does get his autograph, but he does actually want to get to know Endeavor more as well as be a part of his agency before he really becomes his own pro hero. So luckily, no second such an incident. And yes, he may have met All Might, but of course, he doesn't have to worry about can I be a hero thing. When it comes to his whole 10 months training arc, yeah, it, it, he's just pretty much just thinking how hot he can make his fire. At the very least, the other applications he can use it for. Because since he does still study quirks, at least when it comes to fire based quirks, one thing he did realize after seeing Bunko run away from him is that, huh. I wonder if I could fly with this power too. And yeah, you can just say that's mainly his focus. One thing's for certain, he really feels like Bago needs to be humbled. And though, yes, he does. It's when Yuzuru starts making his own explosions that he realizes the real destructive power that Bakugo possesses if he really went all out. So yeah, Yuzuru, he actually does end up learning how to fly using his fire bending. In fact, he comes up with Howser Impact thanks to this new ability. To the point where, yeah, he does actually thank Bakugo. And of course, Bakugo has no idea what he's talking about. But still. So, yeah, you helped me learn new things about my work. In which I like to thank you so much. Oh man, well I feel like I screwed myself over again. Trust me, we're gonna be great heroes. I know it. Theoretical exam, easy. Practical exam, it is a pure bloodbath of gears and molten metal. Zuko, being able to control how intense his flames are, actually causes a lot of robots to overheat, racking up a whole heap of points. And considering that he did end up taking a lot of points from other poor individuals. Mm. You could say that they're not really happy, especially add with the fact that he does get hero points thanks to this. Though, yes, he took their points, it's still technically saving. But it's when he does meet the zero pointer, he wants to really test how strong his quirk is now. So, what does he do? He decides to test the Hauser impact he came up with on this poor, defenseless, God knows how heavy ton machine. He melts a hole straight through it. He became a, a human armor piercing round because Mike and all the other teachers especially Nizzo are very impressed at this oh he has a flashy quirk and with the fact that he actually 
does want to be a hero, luckily. <laughs> I think he can be one of the greatest. Hey, call might you might need a might need a step up your game, don't you think? <laughs> oh yes, I've seen this boy. What? Yes. That guy was in That's right. He was the one who uh, captured uh, Sludge Villain for me. Really? Yes. Quite interesting, actually. If anything, I'm more surprised. I wonder what else he could do. Hmm. Quirk, yes, it's powerful. But how is his character? How is he going to develop in the future? Hmm. I must say, I am actually quite intrigued. Really? You... You think he can develop any more than what he just did? Of course. Hmm. Perhaps he can intensify the level of heat. From what we can see, he did have somewhat control. If you can tell by the wreckage of robots, he used just enough heat with just the right amount of intensity to melt these poor machines. It's quite admirable. He must have really been training a lot for this. <laughs> well, if you think he's that great, you can tell, uh, you know, how loader. But what? Yeah, you can tell him what this bright, shiny new hero has done to his precious machines. I, I run out. That's a, uh, that should be your department, yes? Oh no, I own all of you humans. I write your paychecks. Don't start with me. Wow. Wow. Yeah, don't forget who write your paychecks. The government. Now, what I meant. Hmm. Fair enough. You're damn right. Ugh. Not if anything, I can say you're not wrong about this Izuku Midoriya. Alrighty then, now that that is done, let's get to the whole Izuku game to know that, yeah, I passed, hooray, everything. But he does wonder, like, how well Bakugo did. And yeah, Bakugo did do very well. He made it to UA Class 1A. Only thing is, he knows that Izuku's going to be there. He's not stupid. He may be hot-headed. Oh, those flames have been doused a little bit thanks to Izuku's, you know, coming out of the party when it comes to his power. He knows, yeah, he's going to be there. I have no choice but to make it so I can at least beat him some way, somehow. So, you can imagine how much training Bunko really has done. Though he may be a bit stronger than Cannon, yeah, he's still training a lot harder than he ever would. Maybe because, of course. How terrifying is it to go up against someone who can cancel out your quirk? Especially a powerful quirk. So, for the UA, Izuku is, of course, crazy excited. When he does see that big ass door, he's like, 
Please be a giant. Please be a giant. Please be a giant. Seeing normally, <laughs> seeing practically normal people. <laughs> so, he's a little disappointed. Also, when he sees Bakugo, he just can't help but a sly smile. And Bakugo just stays quiet. He does know it's Aizawa, but he's, he knows Aizawa <laughs> is a razor head. And that just causes him to be more cautious. Now, when it comes to the quirk <laughs> adventure test, yeah, he simply blows everyone out of the water except for Araka. Yeah, he can't beat an infinity, can you? But here's the thing when it is the ball throw, as I was seeing how overpowered. Deku's quirk is. He wanted to stop him. But <laughs> since it's not a quirk, an actual fire bending, when everyone sees how shocked Aizawa is, it's not because of Izuku's score. It's the fact that he couldn't stop Izuku's quirk. And he knows, like, oh shit, that is dangerous. And you can imagine, Bako is pissed. But before he can even do anything, of course, <laughs> he's like, who just slides a little smile, like, what are you gonna do? Please make my day. Let's light this candle. And of course, Bako is kind of salty. Especially with the little jab that they, that they he can't activate his quirk where Izuku is definitely paying attention. So that that's the end of that. But it's when Aizawa does know it's all might you staring. He's like, Why are you here? It's like keep an eye on this young man. Okay, that's actually a very good idea. I, yeah, from what I saw, you did great. Oh no, the, that's not the problem. The problem is that my quirk didn't work on him. Excuse me? Yeah, it didn't work. Really? Nope, did not work at all. So, what you're saying is this particular student's admission quirk can't be blocked, can't be canceled. Correct. So it's practically your quirkless around him. Yeah. So you do know what this means, don't you? Yeah. We have got to make sure that kid doesn't become a villain. And we have to make sure he becomes a hero, if not a civilian. What? Yes. As great as it would be for him to be a hero, if that is not on the table, our only real option is for him to become a regular civilian. Civilian. Yes. That's such a waste of potential, though. Hey, if he stays in, in a hero school, that's all he becomes a hero, pro hero, that's great. But if he can't, we have to make sure that he won't use his quirk or the wrong purposes. Hmm. True. Huh. What do you suggest? Yeah. Hey, I just pray that he passes and doesn't do anything to get expelled. Oh. Huh. 
That's all? That's easy. Oh, you naive, naive little rabbit. It is a lot easier to get expelled from this hero institution than you think. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, it's a lot more. It's more, uh, you know, about conduct, following rules, you know. Hmm, huh. I think you would break them? If the situation calls for it, yes. Which is kind of crazy, though. Because if he does for the right reasons, it would be wrong to really punish him, but if he does for the wrong reasons, uh, how will we know? So what do you suggest? Just keep an eye on him. Make sure he's on the right path. Either the path of a hero or the path of a regular old citizen. Those are our best options. Hmm. I understand. You know what? Maybe I could know. What? No. You didn't even know. No, 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 no. But no, you are not giving that boy your quirk. Why not? He's already overpowered. I can't imagine putting your quirk, a quirk enhancer, on top of that. Do you have any earthly idea how devastating that would be? Hmm. I get your point. But if he does become a great hero, why not? <laughs> oh. You, uh, I, I know why you're here, but oh my, oh, oh Lord, you are, you are too stupid to be a teacher. Uh, well, someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Look at these bags under my eyes. Sleep is my only Salvation, my refuge. If I could sleep as much as I want, as much as I am medically or biologically supposed to have, do you think I would be in such a mm, problematic mood? Hell, some people need coffee. Some people need sleep. I need both. My quirk, with how versatile it is, do you know how much work I have to do? How much hero work? Dear, you do have the point. Yeah, it's exhausting. Seriously, interrogating criminals. Make sure they don't use their quirks. Hey, hell, imagine if I fall alongside you more often. With as many powerhouses as you had to go up against. Oh. Oh, imagine that. I don't have your endurance. The amount of hair work I do. Now, nah, mixed in with my career as a teacher. Ugh. Seriously. It's, it's inhumane. We do it for the good. I know why we're heroes. It's just sometimes we need a break. 
You gotta think about it sometimes. Who, who, who's gonna save us? Oh. Yes. Well, <clears throat> well, if you don't mind, I, I will uh, be on my way. Yeah, you do that. Oh, man. Who is this world coming to? Now the hero was ruins. <laughs> because of that, let's keep them the same. Bongo, of course, is crazy excited to go up against Deku. Oh, my problem is, he's wondering, okay, what's my plan here? I want to fight him. I'm going to get to fight him. But what can I do to at least make it so I don't get completely humiliated? Of course, here comes Ida with his nuggets of wisdom. Huh. So, you use your hands to spark your nitroglycerin like sweat. Yeah. Why? This is not a good matchup for you, is it? What? I mean, Izuku. What about him? Can't he cancel your work from your hands? Yeah. Oh. So. Huh. That's not good. Hey. He could cancel your court too to an extent. What? Explain. Come on. Those damn mufflers. But. That has nothing to do with fire? Oh, yes, they do. Seriously. Anything. Yes, you don't use the full force of your quirk, so to speak. But you can't deny that he can decrease the amount of power you can input. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, oh my stars. Yeah. Is it too late to change opponents? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. But don't worry. If we come up with a plan, I have no plan. Except, what are those gauntlets for? Oh, uh, they clip my sweat. Hmm. Is that pin just for aesthetic? Or is it functioning? Oh. Yeah. Don't worry. It's not for aesthetic. I pull the pin, and it releases all the sweat I accumulated. Interesting. I have an idea. As soon as it does start, of course, Baraka does want to talk to Izuku. Yeah, it's just the fact that he's more or less. Okay. It's time to humble that Pomeranian. Which, of course, Bago does end up meeting them there. Izuku? is hella excited to see how this goes. He starts running straight towards Bongo, Bongo's running to him. As soon as Bongo starts sparking his hands, Izuku, he does the same. And seeing that Izuku is starting to fly similar to him, Bongo gets more scared. Yet, he tries to replace it with some good old-fashioned determination and to an extent of course it works he's able to very least maneuver his explosions more accurately and when Izuku does 
stop it from making explosions. Yeah, Bongo has actually planned for that too. He's getting more into hand-to-hand -hand combat, fighting without his quirk. Because he sees that, okay, hopefully this bastard has uh, gotten too confident, too mm, reliant on his quirk. That, of course, is Bogo's wishes. It's not, it doesn't work that way, sadly. The one thing I did notice is you can't control flames. At least, not completely. When Bongo does end up shooting his explosions, he notices that Izuku. Yeah. Only really happens when Izuku is using his own flames. So. He tries to only use his explosions to attack or evade when Izuku is using his own fire. When he does? Right, when he doesn't. That's when it comes to throwing fisticuffs again. And yes, this actually does end up working in their favor. Only until Bongo does end up slipping. When he does get head on contact to Izuku. He almost palms his hand, tries to blow him up. But Izuku's like, I'm afraid that you found out my uh, drawbacks, but mm, uh, wait, why, why, why wasn't ah? Uh, I got too cocky, didn't I? Yes, you did. Points for effort, so you know you did your best. But before Izuku just pushes Bongo aside like a rag doll, Bongo did end up pulling the pin. And the shock on Izuku's face is pure. It's honey. For Bongo, he's like, yes, I got him! Sad to say, though. This does not last too long when he notices the only thing that he really did was burn Ziku's <laughs> he hero costume. Huh. Not bad. And as you can imagine, Bob goes like, how in the hell? Then he starts seeing Burn scars. But what did you do to yourself? Oh, this is nothing. And this is training for me. I can say the same thing about you and your work. Those explosions. People usually forget about the the force of an explosion. They always worry about the fire <laughs> or the impact. Ooh, that has to be murder on your bones, doesn't it? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, how would you, how would you know that? Because your old friends, Gatsky. And besides, I've experienced the same thing too. What? Him causing an explosion and sending Bongo through several walls. Uh, you can just imagine how pissed Bongo is, but he can't even move right now. He's spent, he has no energy left. All that invade. Evading, all that running, all that attacking, it has drained him completely. 
But the only thing is, before he actually does end up being captured by Izuku, Izuku does notice, like, are you kidding me? Did you even... You need to work on fastening your hero gear better. Seriously, you lost one of your gauntlets. And just then, he turned around to see Ida right behind him with Bako's gauntlet pointed right at his back. And you can imagine, Izuku is pissed, but also he has a smirk on his face. Mago's looking at him like, what's so funny? Uh -oh. Why do why you seem so relieved, happy? You, you're losing right now. You lost. We have you. Are you kidding? Of course I'm happy. What? Yeah. Seriously. That's when we were kids. You would never think about coming up with a plan. You would always want to be all hands-on, blazing, blowing up everything. Well, you're actually working with somebody. And your quirk has gotten stronger, too. I... What? Wait, we're rivals, aren't we? You're not supposed to... Oh. Yeah, yeah, we're real. I can say we're rivals. Sure, sure. The thing is, I didn't want you to fall back. So, of course, me being the one of the greatest friends ever, I want to motivate you. Showing you that, yeah, I can cancel out your quirk. That also, I can activate your quirk if I wanted. Oh, wait, that's right. You didn't notice how I didn't ignite your nitroglycerin like sweat before. Yeah, I could, I could have completely expended all of your sweat. I could have made you completely, you know, heartless. Yep, Rooney. Uh, but to see you work together with somebody is just great. Proud of you, Kotsky. But I... I... I have no idea what to say. Well, I believe what you're trying to say is... Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, that is not. I. Oh, yeah, also, a rock is not here. What? Hero Team wins! Because, yeah. They completely forgot Oraga was a thing. They only really cared about Izuku since he was the most threatening. And you can just imagine the pure shock and frustration on their faces while Yuzuku, he just looks all happy as a clam. But I'm proud of myself. I did some good today. Brought together two great aspiring heroes. <sighs> really, that was a good day's work. I'm really proud of myself. Him just walking off. Of course, Bakugo and Ida are just dumbfounded. As soon as Oraga does show back up, he gives Izuku a high five and he's all smiles and rainbows. And as for the MVP, they actually do end up giving it to Izuku. Though they would have given it to Ida and or Bakugo for coming up with a, such a good plan for Bakugo to be bait. Izuku's plan was better. Because, yeah, if anything, 
I'll go. Uh, he just really wanted to win. And luckily, he's a good now Rocka. We had pretty damn good teamwork and a plan to think of. Only thing is, Bogo is still dumbfounded with the fact that this bastard played me. Made me think that he wanted to. <sighs> he is a good friend, but damn! I can't believe this. I can't believe I got tricked so easily. 